so I've just passed 4 million subscribers to my YouTube channel. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for all your ongoing support and encouragement. And today I'm going to show you how you can start a fire using water. If it's a nice sunny day, you may have tried the experiment where you take a magnifying glass and use it to burn a hole through paper using the sunlight. It works quicker if the paper is black because it absorbs the light, so I'm colouring in a patch. Then use your magnifying glass to focus the light from the sun into an intense round spot of light onto the black patch of paper. And straight away you can see it starts to burn a hole through the page. It's quite incredible how intense the light spot becomes and how quickly it burns the page. And it could be useful for starting a fire. We're going to recreate this experiment using water. Start by tearing off a sheet of cling film and tuck it inside the opening of a cup, like this. Then fill it up with water, remove it from the cup and twist it round to make yourself almost a sphere of water, almost like a water balloon. And we'll be using this to concentrate the sunlight instead of the magnifying glass. I tore out a dark sheet of paper from a magazine and clamped it into this stand to hold it. Make sure your cling film water bubble is nice and tight and use it to focus the light onto the paper. You probably won't be able to make it a perfectly round spot of light like we did with the magnifying glass. Just focus it best you can. And if you get it right, you'll start burning a hole through the paper relatively quickly. To try and start a fire, I folded the paper over a couple of times so the pages are in close contact with each other. Then I put it back in the holder. I used the bubble again to focus the light. And this time when I burnt a hole through the paper, I kept it there to burn the sheet underneath too. The amount of smoke grew and grew, and after a little while it looked really promising. I gave it a bit of a shake to simulate blowing on air, and it burst into flames. And that's how you start a fire using water. Next I placed a match into the holder to see if I could ignite that. And again I was able to set it alight too. It is harder to focus the light on such a small object. But with a bit of practice it does work. It's pretty awesome starting a fire this way. And of course, you have got a little water to hand if you need it. Thanks again to all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. 4 million really is amazing. Let's keep going and see how long it takes to get 5. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.